What's neat about fishing here this time of the year is you've got so many features in this river system. Oh, now another double header? Double header redfish. Triple header. Goodness gracious. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Man, he's a huge one, Anthony. <laughs> Uh-oh, I got a big one. I got a big one. I might have the man on here, Anthony. Oh! Oh, yeah! My gosh! Yes! Look at that guy! That is a shark. That's the biggest fish I've ever caught. Woo! I'm gonna continue with okay, this. Relax. Oh! Dude, he just ripped my boat off. really awesome to be able to get back here to um, Venice, Louisiana and fish with our, our, our buddy Anthony Randazzo here it's, uh, in his backyard. We were uh, fortunate enough to meet Anthony a few years back, I guess probably four years ago now, at, uh, at one of our first redfish tournaments in Titusville. Um, Anthony's a Louisiana guide and, uh, and dominant tournament angler um, in this area and, and we, uh, we met him um, on the redfish tournament circuit and uh, got to know each other. And, he hadn't fished much in Florida, we hadn't fished in Louisiana, and we, we certainly partnered up, you know, met each other, and personalities clicked right away, uh, you know, just stand-up guy all around, and he could see that in us, and, you know, usually on a tournament schedule, we're, you know, we're pre-fishing, we're, you know, intense, we're excited, we're um, stressed, we're, you know, trying to, you know, make everything happen, um, we're trying to catch fish in the right slot, we're trying to catch them not too big, not too, you know, too small, um, trying to catch that perfect size fish. And uh, you know, on a, on a tight schedule, today was just incredible to be able to go out there, um, fish with Anthony and Tom, and n not have to worry about what size fish we catch, really what type of fish we catch at all. We caught fish of every variety. We caught big fish, little fish, different varieties. Uh, it was just a really special day. Maybe 10 or 12 feet out, all the way to the boat. They weren't real tight up on the rocks. They're holding on the bottom. We, we do have a little bit of an eddy right here where the water's coming down river, hits this rock pile and has to turn and go downstream. Feeling the bottom okay, Tom? Is that what you want to be doing, Anthony? Bumping the bottom? Yep, but, every time that jig thumps the bottom. Oh, there something, he is. Something's gonna come look it over. <laughs> I was just about to say, can, will, will the spinner bait get deep enough to get him? And wham! That's cool. There he is. Yeah, one, Tommy? <laughs> oh, Good to be back. To be back in Louisiana. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Redfish. Double head of redfish. No, that's pretty cool though, huh? Back in Louisiana. <laughs> oh man, this is sweet. Anthony never steers this wrong, does he? No, but every time we fish with Anthony. Learn something new, don't we? Well, not only learn something, but learn something that we can take right back to our home waters. You know, I mean, even the captain catches them. Oh. <laughs> Just had to get it out there in that current. Uh, maybe using a little too light of a jig hit. It took me a long time to get to the bottom, but once now you're I got way down out, there, way out away from the rocks. I was out there pretty good ways. We're in a school of fairly small reds right here. If we just keep moving around, we'll certainly find some much better quality fish. There he no. is. Another one. That's awesome, man. Just They're hitting it free falling down there. That's so cool. They're suspended off the bottom though, aren't they? They are. Yesterday, when I stopped here, I picked up 20 or so reds, only caught one trout. Some of the other spots that I'm fishing, it's completely opposite. Real mixed bag, huh? Literally every every small uh, saltwater species that you can imagine is in the river this time of the year. All the redfish you can want, the speckled trout, striped bass, flounder, drum, sheep's head. There he is. That's the one I just missed. I'm telling you, man, they're hitting that spinner good. Oh, no, another double header? Another double? Something tells me yours might be bigger than mine this time. 
Oh, I missed one right there. I was trying to get the boat away from the rocks. Yeehaw. <laughs> oh, man. It's pretty good fishing, huh, man? It's awesome. Be able to pull up to a spot and fish after fish. There is a fish. All right. Even the boss man catches one. Good job. You hit that pearl white glass minnow without hesitation. Might yeah. be on to something. I just threw it out there. It spoils you quickly. I mean, back home, we spend all day trying to catch one or two fish, you know, often. Um, you know, a good day, you know, we might catch a dozen. Here, you catch a dozen fish frequently in the first 10 minutes of fishing. I mean, it'll spoil you. Now, what's Anthony doing? Catching fish? Like crazy. He's playing that home field advantage. Closed captioning is provided by Lawrence. We lead, we find, you win. The Hawks K Saltwater Experience presented by Yellowfin is brought to you by Hawks K Resort Marina and Villas. All the fun of the Florida Keys in one island resort. Yellowfin, only in a Yellowfin. Quantum Rods and Reels, fishing at a quantum level. By Mercury Marine. Lowrance, makers of HDS, high definition systems. By Bass Pro Shops, your adventure starts here. Sperry Topsider, a passion for the sea. And by Loadmaster, Power Pole, Corrosion Block, Ocean LED, and Tough Line. When you pull into Louisiana, First thing you can expect is you're going to catch a lot of fish. Second thing that you can expect is you, you can probably use any lure in your tackle box. So we go there to, to meet Anthony and take a little ride down the road. He says, man, get ready for a long ride because we're going all the way over to those trees over there. <laughs> I look over there, it's about 300 yards, you know. We go over there, he says, well, we'll start fishing here. I make the first cast out there, bam, hooked up, bam, 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 bam. And it just started going like that, which didn't really surprise me, but honestly, you're catching these small fish, and I'm thinking, this couldn't possibly be what Anthony, you know, was gonna show us. I mean, yeah, anybody's gonna be impressed with, with a lot of small fish, but I know that's not what he's got in store for us. He was quiet, he didn't say much. Next thing I know, whap! Oh my. Got a good one there? Yeah, this is a lot better, or either I've got two. <laughs> come, that's, come, that's, on, come on back here if you want. I'm gonna need one of you guys to stay on the trolling motor so okay. we don't drift into the Tom rocks. will get the trolling motor, I'll catch another fish. <laughs> you, you get so much pull when these fish are in this deeper water and you've got this current and you're working against all those odds but just uh on my last out and we caught a red over 25 pounds so right here this so could be a big this one. could be another one like that it could be two 10 pounders two 10 pounders <laughs> <laughs> that's a good tournament day huh tom <laughs> The beauty of these big ones is it doesn't take many to make your day. You catch a couple of these, you're going to be tuckered out. There are a lot of factors that contribute to Anthony's success. First, he's, he's very smart. Secondly, he does his homework. Thirdly, he is not afraid of hard work. He'll go to an area and research it and take notes and do what it takes to, to catch fish in that place, whether that's his backyard or not. Now, in Anthony's backyard, you know, it's rare to find someone who has spent as much time and as much effort in, in developing every area like he has. I mean, Rich and I in the Florida Keys, we have spent an extensive amount of time trying to, you know, really trying to learn all of the keys up and down, Everglades, Flamingo, all of that as well. It's the same thing that Anthony's done here, and he knows 120 square miles. I mean, I say like the back of his hand, Maybe even better. My hand is really starting to cramp up. I'm trying to put as much pressure as I can on that fish without overdoing it. There he is. Man, he's a huge one, Anthony. <laughs> that's a big fish there. They don't grow them like that back home, that's for sure. We started off catching some smaller fish and some different size reds, and next thing you know, Anthony hooks into a big monster and. Um, you know, fights a fish to the boat that's like 25 pound redfish. I mean, it, it was, you know, looked like a bus. I mean, pulling him around in that river. It's pretty good. It's coming back around. 
He wants to come on that side. That fish has so much power. Even though there's very little current, he is giving me a workout. Gosh. Oh my. He hit that top jig, that watermelon chartreuse. Oh my. Is that a beast? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That is the biggest redfish of the day right there. <laughs> wow. It was just, you know, really awesome to catch those big, giant redfish that we just do not get back home. I mean, that's, uh, it's almost non-existent in, in the Keys. Um, certain parts of Florida, Titusville, you know, we've caught a few big ones there and stuff, but nothing like this. I mean, Louisiana is a special spot. It, re it really is. That's nice. <sighs> Nice fish, Anthony. Wow, that doesn't get too excited. <laughs> Nothing does. That's good stuff, man. Good job, Anthony. Thanks a million, bud. Yeah, that's what Louisiana's all about right there, isn't it? When they get that big, you can't do anything except just hang on and take a ride. Let's hope we all get a chance to see I that. hope we all get one. Go on, man. greatest things about these bay boats is being able to trailer them like we did today with Anthony going 60 miles down to Venice there and he does that every day for guys. Well you know so do we and we've trailered these boats uh, from Texas all the way to Georgia you know, the, with the package that, that Skeeter offers the twin axles and the brakes you can tow this boat anywhere it's big enough to handle big water goes in shallow water take it anywhere you want to go. That's the great thing we're able to you know have that maneuverability of a small boat the, the rough water performance of a big boat, but yet be able to pick it up and trailer it anywhere we want to go. The thing about the area that we were fishing was that, that there was so much potential there, man. We could catch probably 12 different species of fish, Anthony was telling us. We were so excited about that. and We went to this one area, it was dramatic, man. There was a break in this, this big jetty. And, we, and, and the river's pouring through there, it's making eddies on both sides, and the, the water flow is going different directions, and we go in there and turn around in the, in the eddy just exactly like I used to do in my drift boat and make a cast of, you know, what's natural. Huh, I think a trout would be there. Bam, big redfish. Tell us a joke. All right. Do you have any good jokes? You ever hear the uh, one about the uh, man that walked into the bar and, uh... I forget the rest. And caught a fish. See, I knew it wouldn't take long. <laughs> oh, it is working for me too. This is how Jerry Font Seinfeld uh -oh, got started. I got started. a big one. I got a big one. Hey, I got a, a little one. You know, I, I was surprised to see where these fish were living. I had never fished in an area like that for redfish. You know, and, and that was really cool to me because that teaches me that. Every type of fishing that you do correlates to another type of fishing that you may do in, in your life. He's going that, in the opposite if, direction. If that's the one I saw, you're in big trouble. <laughs> now what joke was it that you were telling me? Because I'm gonna I'm gonna try that right now. You may not understand what you're learning right now, or it may not may not make total sense. But everything you learn about fishing, whether it's reading water or, or using being able to feel a lure on the bottom. Sooner or later, you're going to be able to correlate that into another kind of fishing. Oh, look, there he is right there. Nice. Nice one, man. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's like a tar paint so big. Cool not to have to worry about whether or not he's going to make the, make the shot. <laughs> yeah, in the tournaments, we'd be all upset about that. There he is on top of the water, boiling. Look at that oh! Big stud. <laughs> My gosh! That's like the one I saw, man. I think you might have caught that same one. I can tell you this right now, we didn't bring enough net. <laughs> That's a good one there. 
<laughs> there he comes. Here he comes. There he is. Yeah, there he is. Oh boy, look at the head on that thing. There he is. But that's a big redfish. That might be one of the biggest ones I've ever landed. Oh yeah! That's a toad. One, two, three. Oh, hurry up! <laughs> look at that big Let's guy. Let's get him back here, man. I gotta, I gotta pick this thing up. <laughs> look at that. Look at the belly on him. I gotta pick this thing up. Wow. Oh, look! Your redfish magic opened up. You're lucky, man. <laughs> wow, he ate that thing good, didn't he? Man, no wonder. When I set the hook, I felt like I'd set it into a truck, and I did. Look at the size of that fish, man. <laughs> Way to go, Rich. I think that's definitely my biggest red fish. Way man. to go, Rich, <laughs> man. Golly, that is so cool. Look at the head on that thing and the gut. Jeez. The head? Look at the whole thing. <laughs> Every bit of him. <laughs> He's so big, you can only look at one part of him at a time. Wow. Tom and, and uh, Anthony started off just throwing the, uh, the glass minnow. Um, but with the 3x, you know, with without without the spinner on it, I went with Redfish Magic, which is basically just the same thing, the glass minnow, 3x on the flats jig head. But I used it on the spinner there. Um, I started off with I think a quarter ounce, and it wasn't what wasn't quite getting down there fast enough. Those guys were using the jigs um, with the eighth, and or actually they were using half and three eighths, and they were getting more bites down deep. So I put the heavier um, half ounce on that spinner, and right away, wham, you know, caught a nice big red, probably a 25 pounder, um, and then it really seemed to be the ticket. I'd let that little heavier jig just flutter down, flutter down, and they would wham it. It was, it was really cool. Oh, <laughs> that is so cool. That is so cool, cool man. man. Nice, man. <laughs> One of the most important setups in inshore saltwater fishing is a good weedless rig. What I like to do is rig a worm weight, on a jerk bait or a tube with a good solid hook and uh, bury that point, run it through the grass, fish eats it, he's hooked up there, but it won't get weeded up. Now the key to this rig is to have the best hook you can find. We've gone through all kinds of different hooks. Some of them bend out, some of them don't fit right, some of them miss bites. The best thing we've come across are these Matsuo wide gap worm hooks. They come in a variety of sizes. I use them from a 2.0 up to a 5.0 depending on the size bait. If I'm using a smaller bait, I'll go with something like this 3.0 here match it to the size of the tube or the jerk bait it makes all the difference in the world the key is to have have that solid hookup it won't won't bend out when that fish grabs on he's not coming loose great point and uh, solid construction the Hawks K saltwater experience presented by yellowfin is brought to you by yellowfin only at a yellowfin Finor, legendary tackle since 1933. The Florida Keys in Key West, come as you are. Yeti coolers, wildly stronger, keep ice longer. Motor guide, never stop. By Sirius Marine Weather, satellite weather direct to your boat. And by Under Armour, King Sailfish Mounts, Stabil, Scott Fly Rods, and Plano. Anthony hooks up with one of these big fish, and I'm thinking, wow, man, this is cool. This is gonna be the one big fish of the day, right? We land that fish, I'm excited about it. Everybody's excited about it. Well, then Rich hooks one, and I'm like, hey, man, I can't be the only one that doesn't catch one of these fish. In fact, that's probably gonna be one of the biggest red fish I've ever caught. So I was not gonna leave there without catching one of those big fish. And I worked and worked, and I started looking at what these guys were throwing. And, and, you know, sometimes there's a little competition going on in the boat. Rich is putting his bait on like this, you know, he's not showing me what the tail is. Anthony, he's kind of hiding it behind his shoulder there. Yeah, it'd be funny if he didn't catch one. Well, I got a glimpse of what Anthony was using, and I throw it over there. And sure enough, I was able to catch one too. And boy, was I excited. And it's cool because it was like a hunt involved, just like sight fishing. It was a hunt, man. We were, I was, I was determined. I wasn't gonna, I was feeling that bait hit every rock hit bouncing on the bottom, hit every rock, wham, there's a bite, you know, and knowing any moment I could get one of those big fish like, like they had. So I knew those fish were there, those guys had caught a couple, I knew I could catch a couple, and, but I really started getting into the tournament mode where I'm not going to miss a bite, I'm going to feel every rock, I'm going to feel everything down there, and sooner or later I'm going to get that fish. Anywhere you want to go, man. 
There he is. Oh, he's nothing like you guys fish. But he's one to be proud of anyway. Oh, kidding me? That's a monster, dude. Look at that thing. No, he's nothing like that, that one, that other one. But I don't care, man. That's definitely going to be. you want to do your godly duties? And... Yes, sir. Ugh. All right, Anthony, let's see if we can put him in here. I got to take my, I got to get my hands on him, too. <laughs> that is so cool. This has, been, this has been fantastic, man, to come out here and so be different. able to see this. It's awesome. It's so different in many ways. Catching this many fish on artificials. What a fish, man. Oh! Boy, that <laughs> yeah, extended ball handle came in handy, didn't it? Nice job, Tom. <laughs> Look at him. Thank you, sir. Now that's a red fish. Thank you, sir. Wow. Look at that guy. He has got some shoulders. It was an awesome, awesome day on the water, you know. Just as Anthony always does, he steers us in the right direction when we come, come up to his home waters. And, and you know, he, he was very closed mouth about what he had in store for us. He really kind of underestimated it. He said he didn't want to get us too excited. But we went out there and caught so many fish that, that we, our arm is going to hurt by the time we get back home. <laughs>